JapanCast.net is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download at audiblepodcast.com slash japancast. Over 75,000 titles to choose from, including hundreds of Japanese language books. Support us by supporting them. Visit audiblepodcast.com slash japancast today. Welcome to japancast.net, video episode number five. Whether you're uh, fluent in Japanese and just looking to brush up on your skills, or maybe you think Ohio is the state next to Indiana, <laughs> japancast.net is your place to go. So a little bit late this week because we had the uh, 4th of July holiday Independence Day here in the States if you're out of the country. So we're... Do you know how to say Independence Day in Japanese? I do not. Do you want to learn? Sure. <laughs> we say Dokuritsu Kinenbi. Dokuritsu Kinenbi. Kinenbi. Dokuritsu means to separate from something. Okay. Okay, and Kinenbi is anniversary. Hmm. Okay. Dokuritsu Kinenbi. Cool. Awesome. Well, we have a lot to uh, cover this week, so why don't we get right into the news? So, uh, World Cup action, Japan unfortunately lost to Paraguay, but that did not stop the celebration. In Osaka, people decided to celebrate by jumping into the Dotonburi River. <laughs> Dotonburi River. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Asahi.com posted uh, this video. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys and uh, we'll get your view on the, the subject, so here, let's go ahead and play that. The... They do that, like baseball, when they win their team, you know, they, they, um, uh, their team wins. Everybody runs to the bridge and they all yeah. jump into the river? Like baseball um, in Osaka, so Hanshin Taigas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's a common Hanshin. thing? In Osaka, yes. Really? Just on Osaka? Or yeah. <laughs> they, they jump into the river? They're a little different. <laughs> um, that's a polite way to put it. <laughs> really, they're really nice though. Mm -hmm. They're very, very friendly. They're really nice people. Also. Okay, well, cool. So that's uh, one thing I thought was pretty interesting. And then, oh, do you have anything? Mm -mm. Nothing else? Oh, okay. Uh, other thing to uh, cover in news this week is um, the latest trailer from the Studio Ghibli's movie called. Uh, let me read this directly because I forget it. Karigush, uh, karigurashi no arayati, which is karigurashi no arayati. Arayati. What's arayachi? Arayachi. Arayachi is the name of the character. Arayachi. Mm -hmm. hmm. Karigurashi. Mm -hmm. And it's from the uh, an old story called The Borrowers. Miyazaki had been planning on doing this movie for about forty years now. Um, he's not going to direct it. A 36-year-old named uh, Hiromasa Yonebayashi. He's the youngest director ever for a Ghibli movie. Mm -hmm. So I have the latest trailer here, so why don't we take a look at that. ここ
Okay, so that's the、uh, latest trailer for. Kari Grashi no Arietti. T? Arietti, hi. Not C. No, it's T and little E, so T.、Uh, Arietti. Okay. Cool, what do you think? Typical Miyazaki looking. It's Kobito? Those Arietti, that girl?、Mm-hmm. Kobito? They're little, yeah. yeah. It's like eight or ten inches tall, they live,、mm-hmm. and they sneak and steal things.、Mm-hmm. And that, that's so.、Uh, looks very interesting. I'm, I'm a big fan of Miyazaki. Yeah, Kari Grashi. So, that Kari Grashi is a compound word. Kari comes from Kariru to borrow something.、Mm-hmm. Kariru. Grashi is actually life. Kurashi. Okay. So, the borrowers. Oh, okay. Kari Grashi. Hopefully, when they bring it to America, they don't ruin the translation. I've noticed looking, watching the Disney. Versions of Miyazaki or Ghibli movies, the translations are not really, yeah. I thought they were fine, they're okay, but they're it's not the same thing.、Um, like, I n a u s h i k a I had an old fan sub, and it was so much better than what they came up with. It, it, they tend to not be as literal in their translations. I've noticed they try to make it a little more. Americanized, I think. So,、mm. anyway, that's it for news. Let's、uh, do a culture corner. You're looking to the customs, culture, and events in Japan. So, what do we have this week? <laughs> this week, I want to talk about some interesting food. Oh,、uh, I see. I、we、think I have it here. In Japan. Here? <laughs> Hi. Kore des. Yeah. それは、それは、うん、それは、うん、I'm holding it, so you have to use それ、な、yes, If you're、yes. holding it, これ、これ、But、I'm holding it, so、それは、何これは、I'm holding it, so これは、クラゲです。クラゲ。クラゲ。OK? はい。クラゲは、ジェリーフィッシュです。OK? So, <laughs> yeah, we eat kurage in Japan. Jellyfish?、Uh, mm. <laughs> we only eat certain kinds. So, you, you don't just pick them up off the beach? No, no, we don't do no, certain kinds. <laughs> certain kinds of jellyfish, and we eat、um, only the top part, not the, not the stingers. No, <laughs> no not the t o p They make、that. it more tangy, though. You can call it like <laughs> <gonna、uh>, <laughs> Cajun style. <laughs> Just the top and a certain、um, kind. Okay. And how does it so taste? Just don't pick up. <laughs> how does it taste? Taste、uh, doesn't taste like anything actually. Not、okay. fishy, <laughs> maybe not even, you know, ocean taste、okay. or anything like that because basically they、um, dry them、mm-hmm. and then slice them. And And they put like a salt and stuff、mm-hmm. to preserve. But anyway,、uh, the, the crackers themselves not, doesn't have really any particular flavor. Okay.、Um, uh, they look like lava bands. Okay. Color too.、Uh, the texture is a bit lovely and also、so、a bit look, crunchy. So it looks like a rubber band and it tastes like a rubber band. A little bit, <laughs> but also crunchy though. It's、okay. very weird. Okay. Lovely but crunchy. I could never imagine that eating jellyfish would be a little weird. <laughs> no. So、uh, we、possible. usually eat them with cucumber, okay. chicken, okay. And, or with tomatoes.、Uh, usually make it cold. Make them cold and eat it, like salad.、Mm, okay.、Uh, we like to use shoyu, soy sauce,、uh, based sauce, dressing.、Uh, I like so-、uh, myself, I like soy sauce and sesame oil, a little bit of sesame oil.、Um, uh, please try k r a g e when you get a chance. Great. I got this from、um, Thai yeah, it's grocery store. Yeah, a Thai grocery store, not a Japanese grocery store.、Right. So. Yeah, but I think it's, this is yeah, China. So, you should be able to find them. If、Chinese. you have an Asian market nearby, you should be able to find.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Worth giving a try, you know, just 
See what you think. If you if you like um, octopus or squid, Maybe. you think you'd like yeah. this similar probably, texture? Probably, probably. If you can eat those, you probably can eat this too. All right. I'll take that and set it aside. And now we're up to this week's phrase or idiom. So what do we have for this right. week? This week we have atama no kaiten ga hayai. I know hayai and I know atama. Okay. So head and fast. Mm -hmm. Atama no kaiten ga hayai. Okay. Okay. It means sharp. Sharp? Mm hmm. Means not necessarily uh, nice. Not pointy. No, no, not pointy. But okay. Sharp your head. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you have a pointy shirt. No, no. Basically, you're smart. You know, you are quick-witted. Yeah, right, exactly. Okay. So, but literally, the spin of one's head is fast. Because atama, like you said, head. Mm -hmm. Kaiten means rotation or turning. Hmm. Rotation or turning. Hayai, quick or fast. Okay. So, atama no. Kaiten ga hayai. <laughs> you spin your head fast. <laughs> it means you're very sharp. So, for example, Tanaka san wa atama no kaiten ga hayai desu. Mr. Tanaka is a sharp person. Oh, okay. Tanaka san wa atama no kaiten ga hayai desu. So, this might be if you worked at a Japanese company and mm. had, you know, because we have a lot of Japanese companies in America and you have people coming over and impress your boss <laughs> if you said that to your boss and you're, especially if you're an American or, or non-Japanese, mm. might make your boss happy if you said that to him. Yeah, basically, it's a, we use it quite often. Mm -hmm. That guy is really sharp. Mm. I'm just thinking more of sucking up to your boss so you get a raise or promotion. I don't know if you <laughs> should use this to your boss, referring, you know, oh, you know, I don't think so. I think it's best to uh, use it when the person's not here. Oh, uh, okay. So not directly it's, to your right. boss. It's not necessarily a bad thing to say. It's, of course, obviously, it's a good um, meaning, you know, sharp, very smart and everything. But usually, I guess it's a compliment. But okay. I don't know we, if we say that directly to the person. Okay. I don't really think okay. so. But anyway, so opposite. Mm -hmm. Now, you can say opposite of atama no kaiten ga hayai is atama no kaiten ga osoi, mm -hmm. which means osoi means slow. slow. So it's opposite of atama no kaiten ga hayai. So, for example, Suzuki san wa atama no kaiten ga osoi desu. Mr. Suzuki is Slow. <laughs> so, Suzuki san wa atama no kaiten ga osoi desu. Okay. So, a little insulting then. You definitely shouldn't. <laughs> Never say that to your <laughs> boss. To the person directly. <laughs> okay. Right. Great. So, that's uh, this week's actually Idiom? idioms. Mm -hmm. Two. Okay. Yeah, two. Fantastic. And uh, as you guys noticed at the opening of the show, we have sponsors this week. So before we go on, we need to thank our sponsor, Audible. Audible is the first sponsor of this new video podcast, and they're giving away 14-day uh, free trial memberships. If you go to audiblepodcast.com slash japancast to sign up, then they know that we sent you. We get uh, credited with that. Uh, if you just go to audible.com, we're not going to get credited. They won't know that you came because we sent you. If you sign up, and I am a member, I, I have a gold membership, I'm going to recommend get the Pimsleur Japanese lessons. 
and I'm going to let you in on a secret. They have them broken up a few different ways. You can get them as, you know, phase one, lesson one, phase one, lesson two. But if you search for Pimsleur Japanese phase one, you'll see they have one through five as a single book and six through 10 as a single book. And that still counts as a single book. And you get a free audiobook when you sign up. So go there. I love Pimsleur. I'm a huge fan of Pimsleur. I think it's one of the best. Sign up and look for the one that has one through five because then you get all of those and it only counts as one book. Mm. If you go there and you just get Pimsleur phase one, lesson one, that counts as one book too. <laughs> so you might as well get all five if, if you're going to sign up. Get all of them. Yeah. Um, so again, I, I, I really enjoy it. I like listening to audiobooks. I listen while I work. Mm. Um, it's fantastic. So again, head over to audiblepodcast.com, not audible.com, but audiblepodcast.com slash japancast and sign up for your free trial and give them a try. So thank you to Audible for sponsoring us. And now we're going to move on with a uh, vocabulary word. So Hi, have... actually, mm -hmm. switch to useful phrase. Oh, a useful phrase. Okay. So this yeah. week's useful phrase. Useful phrase. Uh, this week's useful phrase is Honto? Okay. <laughs> honto? 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 <laughs> we use Honto when we want to say really? Okay. So if you want to look it up in the dictionary, the proper spelling is ho n to u. Okay. Ho n to u. Okay. I think that's the U is mm -hmm. one of the things people have Very a lot hard. of trouble with because it's not pronounced U, yeah. it extends the O sound. Right. We pronounce Honto to, okay, not Honto U. Okay. That's one of the re reasons I think, again, going back to our sponsor, not to be a shill, but learning from hearing versus re from a book. In a book, you're going to read that. Honto u, because you're going to learn hiragana right. and you're going to oh, say no. honto u, honto u. Nobody talks like that. No. So, so yeah. Um, so, we usually pronounce honto? The honto? So, honto means really? And if you're going to say, um, yeah, really, it's true, then we say, um, honto. Um, honto. So, by the way, un is an informal way of saying hi, you know, yes. Mm -hmm. So we have hi, everybody knows hi, ye, yes and no. Uh, but in colloquial, we say un for yes. Okay. So, let's use this. Okay? Okay. So, Tiger Woods ga likon suru n datte. Honto? Oh, honto, honto. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> <laughs> it's my acting. Tiger Woods ga likon suru n datte. Honto? Oh, honto, honto. So, what did I say? Tiger Woods. Mm -hmm. Tiger Woods. <laughs> yeah, Tiger Woods. We say Tiger Woods. Uh, Tiger Woods ga likon suru n datte. Likon suru means to divorce. Okay, so basically what I said was Tayo's is getting a divorce. Okay, and then Honto, really? Honto? Right, really? And I said, um, honto honto. Un, yes. And then honto honto, it's true. It is true. I'm telling you the truth. Honto honto. Great. Fantastic. So that's it for this week's uh, word or phrase. And mm -hmm. Actually, a little of both. And on to the mailbag. Uh, this week's letters. So we got a letter from Catherine. Hi. Right. Hi. And what did she write? So, 今週の質問は今日本の大学に留学しているキャサリンさんからです。いつお疲れ様というフレーズを使うか。という質問です 
So this week's question is from Catherine, who is studying in Japanese university. And her question was, when to use this phrase, otsukare-sama? Mm -hmm. uh, otsukare-sama is very, very hard to translate, just like yoroshiku onegaishimasu. But you hear this a lot, uh, just like yoroshiku onegaishimasu. It's really hard to translate into English. Mm -hmm. uh, it basically means you uh, or we worked very hard. Okay. <laughs> um, it's a phrase we thank other people's hard work or each other's work. Okay. Okay. So when do we actually say this phrase? Okay. Number one. Um, should I say it in Japanese too? Sure. Okay. I, I can explain. Okay. Eigyo nado soto mawari no hito ga kaisha ni modotte kita toki ni tsukaimasu. Okay, so um, if you worked in an office with salespeople who go out on sales calls and they return to the office, when they return, the people who work in the office, secretaries or other people who are working in the office, would say to the person as they came in, お疲れ様でした。お、お疲れ様です。そう。はい。で、ナンバー2。あ、同僚が自分より先に帰る時にいます。例えば、あの、同僚一緒に働いている人が何か用事とかで先にあの、帰らなければならない時。あ、大体あの、お先に失礼しますと言います。そしてその返事としてお疲れ様でしたというふうに言います。Okay. Um for example, if someone needs to leave the office early or go home early for a reason your your kid is sick or yeah. doctor's appointment or whatever. Um they would say お先に失礼します。and then we, the people who are still staying, would reply. お疲れ様でした。お疲れ様です。お疲れ様です。お疲れ様です。お疲れ様です。お疲れ様です。お疲れ様です。お疲れ様です。お疲れ様です。お疲れ様です。お疲れ様です。お疲れ様です。お疲
ール。さん、He also sent us a file. Great. はい、ありがとうございました。So that's it for this week, and、uh, we'll see you again soon. はい、じゃあまたね。